Dr. Merck, what is astaxanthin? What are its benefits? Who should use it? First of all, astaxanthin, uh, you would immediately recognize it. It's the color of salmon. Um, and I'm talking oh, about okay. That's a good wild analogy. salmon. It's the okay. pink color of salmon. If you were to raise a salmon in an aquarium, mm -hmm. it would not be pink. Oh, it would not? No. Be kind of a beigey color? No, it would be white. Be white? It would be white. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, the meat, the, the mm -hmm. meat of right. the salmon. Uh, astaxanthin is in a group of uh, compounds called carotenoids. Carotenoids. Which is? Carotenoids are uh, things Acronis like beta carotene, zeaxanthin, okay. lutein, lycopene. These are all carotenoids, and they're usually anywhere from red to orange to almost purple in color. The reason why they're colored mm -hmm. is because they have a lot of unsaturation, and in the, us chemists, we call those chromophores. Okay. Okay, those, those unsaturated groups make them very good free radical and oxygen quenchers, so they're antioxidants. Okay, that was what I was looking for. Because you hear about uh, getting beta carotene from carrots, and they're right. colored, right. very colorful. So that's what a carotenoid is. Carotenoids are usually orange or red or purple mm -hmm. compounds. And they have antioxidant properties. They have antioxidant properties. They also have free rad radical scavenging properties. Okay. And there is a difference. Better, and right. we'll talk about that okay, later, good. I think. Right. Yeah. And however, the abundance of these carotenoids in nature varies. All right. And their strength as far as the ability to quench uh, free radicals or quench oxygen varies also depending on which one we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we can talk about the the, the strength of, of the of the carotenoids. Okay. Astaxanthin strength. is the most powerful uh, carotenoid as far as free radical scavenging and oxygen uh, quenching. How much stronger is it than say beta carotene? It's thousands of times stronger. Thousands of times stronger. Right. There's a lot of claims being made in these mm -hmm. numbers. And it, they also depend on how you measure, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's make it very simple. Okay. It is the most powerful antioxidant in the carotenoid family. Okay. And it is many times more, so 500,000, et cetera. Let's just say it's many times more potent. And uh, would a salmon have as much energy and muscle recovery swimming up against the, the tide and when it's going up a salmon stream without having astaxanthin in its body, the answer is definitely not. Oh. So that keeps the machine going. Antioxidants are very, very important to stop uh, oxidative stress in the body mm -hmm. and free radical damage that can happen mm -hmm. from, you know, running too fast or, you know, being exposed uh, to toxins or being stressed, being exposed to toxins. Mm -hmm. That's that's a, that's an excellent point you just mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. uh, and how does a uh, salmon get its red color? How it gets its red color by eating things like shrimp, which have the red color in them, mm -hmm. which have astaxanthin. It oh, also gets them by it. eating algae that's in the water. Okay. And the algae make astaxanthin, so they make beta carotene. They make other carotenoids. They also make astaxanthin. And however, in the plant kingdom, other than algae, mm -hmm. astaxanthin is not produced by any other plant That's it. that we know of. There is one flower that makes astaxanthin, uh, small amounts of it, mm -hmm. but it's uh, too expensive to extract. Okay. And it also has some uh, undesirable byproducts in, in with it. So there's this, that one source. There's two sources of getting astaxanthin in your diet today. One is to eat wild salmon, mm -hmm. wild shrimp, mm -hmm. wild lobster. Oh, okay. Okay, that's one main source. The other main source is a dietary supplement mm -hmm. that, that Valenza makes by extracting a algae that's called hematococcus. Okay. Hematococcus is a uh, green algae that grows at a pH of around seven oh. and either closed or open pond systems. Mm -hmm. uh, we get the biomass from these uh, suppliers of biomass, and then we use the supercritical mm -hmm. CO2 extraction to remove the astaxanthin and make an oleo resin. 
which contains anywhere from 5 to more than 10% astaxanthin. And its benefits? Benefits are primarily as an antioxidant. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, uh, has some anti-inflammatory okay. indications. So it's a powerful antioxidant. It's, it's a powerful antioxidant and free radical scavenger. Okay. It uh, has the other benefit of crossing the blood-brain barrier, mm -hmm. which means it goes into your brain, it goes into your eyes, and ah. uh, it can have benefits as far as uh, anti-aging uh, properties. Okay. For your eyes? For or your eyes, for your brain. For your brain, too. And for your skin. You take astaxanthin, it can be measured in your eye. Hmm. There are spectroscopic methods for measuring the amount that goes into your eye. It, uh, it uh, uh, goes into your eye and it concentrates in the cones of the eye, mm -hmm. which are located uh, in the fovea, the focal point of the eye. And it's the area responsible for your color vision. Oh. The other important carotenoids for the eye are lutein. Yes. Lutein. And zeaxanthin. Lutein deposits primarily in the rods of the eye, which mm -hmm. are responsible for black and white vision mm -hmm. and are not really highly concentrated in the fovea, the focal point of the eye. And uh, zeaxanthin also deposits in the cones of the eye and uh, selectively in the cones and not necessarily in the rods of the eye. So all three carotenoids are important for the mm -hmm. eye and they prevent oxidation and UV, UV-itis basically Mm -hmm. uh, stress caused by that, UV that light kind of damage, huh? going in, in, damaging the eye. And uh, we believe that a person that um, uh, consumes a good balance of carotenoids like astaxanthin, lutein, mm -hmm. and zeaxanthin will uh, encounter far less chance of uh, cataracts and, uh, and age-related macular degeneration. Uh, compared to having a diet poor in those carotenoids. And you can get those carotenoids from eating salmon, you can get them from eating good healthy vegetables, carrots, mm -hmm. uh, green vegetables, you get mm -hmm. a lot of lutein, you eat corn, you get lutein. Uh, lutein, is it in egg yolks too? Beets, mm -hmm. uh, uh, corn, mm -hmm. uh, squash, that sort okay. of thing. So you can get those things by eating food, good food, and if you don't eat enough of that good food, you can supplement your diet with astaxanthin. And the most important to, to uh, astaxanthin, lutein, and zeaxanthin. Uh, we believe that the most important one is astaxanthin because no vegetables have astaxanthin in them. Oh, okay. okay. And you can't eat salmon every day. No. And wild salmon is getting harder to find. Okay. So I, I think it's really important that every American mm -hmm. have a good level of carotenoids in their diet. It's very important for health. If you don't have them, you will suffer the effects mm -hmm. of age-related mm -hmm. oxygenation, free radical damage, etc. Astaxanthin also, and, and lutein, by the way, also is known to deposit in your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, also, beta carotene is known to deposit in your skin, and that helps protect you uh, against uh, UV damage and single oxygen damage there, and that's uh, very well known. And uh, people that eat a lot of carotenoids generally uh, have less problems when they get exposed to sunlight. Okay. And if, if you're talking about carotenoids, uh, you have to talk about cataracts too, because cataracts are caused by light-induced breakdown of the lens of the eye. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think there's a very good possibility that uh, having a, a food diet that is very rich in carotenoids mm -hmm. will mitigate that problem. People that have jobs where they're outside all the time or mm -hmm. involved in you know, sailing, golfing, mm -hmm. and things like that will get tremendous uh, UV exposure. Mm -hmm. And uh, eating a lot of carrots, eating a lot of uh, you know, uh, carotenoid-containing food Mm -hmm. will help uh, mitigate that problem. And if you don't eat those things, take the supplements.